So many of you have probably already heard this by now, but on July the 11th of this year, Satoru Iwata passed away. And I realized that I am obviously behind on getting this video out, but I actually only heard about this recently when videos about it started coming up in my YouTube feed. And even though I'm a little bit behind on talking about it, I still want to. Because when I found out that Iwata had died and I started thinking about this, it dawned on me just how much this guy's work has affected my life without me knowing it. I have basically grown up with so much of the work that Iwata was responsible for, either directly by being involved in the production or indirectly as the CEO. When he was at HAL Laboratories before he became the CEO of, of Nintendo, he had Earthbound, he created Kirby and Super Smash Brothers. He was responsible for especially Kirby and Smash Brothers because Earthbound was a little bit before my time. But Kirby and Smash Brothers, I grew up with those games. I played so much Smash Brothers growing up. When he was CEO, Nintendo came out with the DS, which raised me, and the frickin' Wii, which was... I played those all the time, and I never really realized just how much of the fact that I am a gamer at all nowadays I owed more to that than Iwata, to Iwata, than I realized, and it's unfortunate that it took his death to make me realize that, but I did. And Iwata was more than just a CEO and a game developer, though, and that, too, I didn't really realize until, I think, just now, because we live in a time where corporate executives and CEOs, especially CEOs of major video game publishers, do not have the best public opinion, you know? Gamers look at the bosses of companies like Activision and EA and Microsoft as, as, as evil and soulless, you know, as people that don't care about the games that are coming out. They only care about the money and they only view the games as a means to that end. And what I think made Iwata so special, and why so many people liked this guy so much, is because he never felt like that. Iwata always seemed sincere whenever he was talking about games. He always, when he said he was excited for a product, or that he was looking forward to how the game was going to turn out, it didn't feel like he was just saying that because he's the CEO. It felt like he really meant it. He felt like he was genuinely excited for the games that came out on Nintendo platforms. And I think that's special. I think that's what set him apart, was because he didn't feel like a CEO. He didn't feel like the games were just, you know, tally marks on some checklist for year-end financial results. He felt like he genuinely cared about the games that were being released and about their quality. And I think, I mean, another example of, of why he, he famously took a massive pay cut in 2013 when Nintendo's sales were plummeting because of the Wii U, he cut his own salary. How many other CEOs can you think of that have done that? It just, he, w he was a very special CEO, I think. He had a very special place in a lot of people's hearts, and deservedly so. The man was responsible for so many amazing games when he was a developer, and he oversaw the development as CEO of Nintendo. He oversaw the development of so many more. He approached the job in a way that, that no other CEO in his position that I can think of ever has. And the fact that he is gone, especially at such a young age, he was only 55, it's a massive loss to the industry. It really is. To be honest, though, that's... I think that's all I can really say without just 
saying the same thing over and over again. Iwata made amazing games. He was the only public CEO in the video game industry I can think of that people liked as much as people liked him. And the entire industry is going to miss him. And gamers across the world are going to miss him. And I think the best way to honor Iwata is by showing a clip of my personal favorite moment, which I think is where a lot of his reputation came from. Thank you, Mr. Iwata, for everything. I wouldn't be the gamer I am now if it wasn't for your work. I probably wouldn't be making videos right now if it wasn't for your work. We're all going to miss you. On my business card, I am a corporate president. In my mind, I am a game developer. But in my heart, I am a gamer.